back to 1 Corinthians 12. Um, what was that, verse 10? Yeah, so he said, to another, to another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy. To another, prophecy. His ability to go into the prophecies and relate them to current events and tie them together. Able to look into the prophecies and understand what they're talking about and show us. A lot, a lot of what Bishop, what we've seen Bishop do during the, when he was going through Revelation. He, he, he tied uh, them airplanes that looked like, what, is, what was it, um, locusts? That's the gift of prophecy. Go to uh, 2 Ezra chapter 14 and verse 3. 2 Ezra chapter 14 and verse 3. You also see that when you look at this, I'm not going to go to these scriptures, but you see that in Daniel. How Daniel sh showed Nebuchadnezzar the interpretation of his dreams. Joseph. Joseph. That's, that's the gift of prophecy. Read that. 2 Ezra chapter 14 and verse 3. Then said he unto me, in the bush I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moses and talk with him. When my people served in Egypt. Was that verse, that was just, that was verse three? Yep. Jump to five. So this is how the Moses dealt, this is how the Most High dealt with Moses. Jump to verse five. Verse five. And told him many wondrous things and showed him the secrets of the times and the end and commanded him saying. So Moses was shown the secrets of the times and the end. That was a gift, that was prophecy. That's an example that he showed. He knew Moses knew what knew Moses knew he wasn't going into the promised land. Moses knew of what was going to happen to us when we went into um, when we was going on those slave ships. Moses seen all that. He seen the end. He seen every. He seen all of that because the Most High showed it to him. Read, but you don't read that about all of the prophets. It was only shown to certain ones. Moses seen it. Go to uh, read verse six. Verse 6, these words shalt thou declare, and these shalt thou hide. So he declared some things openly, and some things you got to, you, you have to have that gift of prophecy to be able to go in and read it and understand what it's talking about, specifically. From there, go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, and verse 17. He gave, that same, he gave the same spirit to Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, and verse 17. For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know how the world was made and the operation of the elements. Verse 18, the beginning, ending, and midst of the time. So he showed Solomon the beginning, the ending, and the midst of time. That's that spirit of, that's that gift of prophecy. He showed him he, those things. Solomon knew what was, what was going to happen. To the, to, he knew that the, he knew that it was gonna be a split. He knew that all that he knew he was gonna go off and be in, in Gentile ways and cut somebody mute your mic. He saw us going to captivity. He saw the day when Christ was gonna, gonna gonna be birthed in this earth and then when he was gonna die on the cross. That's the gift of prophecy. Uh, from there, go back to First Corinthians twelve and ten. First Corinthians chapter twelve and verse ten. To another discerning of spirits. To another discerning of spirits. Discerning of spirits. Let's pull up that definition of discern. That discern. Definition. You want uh, one or two? Um, one in, I think one and two. All right. Discern. To detect with the eyes. Definition two. To recognize or identify as separate or distinct. And you got the other one said to dis detect with senses other than vision. This person can tell this, when they when they enter in the room and something off, they can feel something off. They got a discerning of spirit. They can tell if your spirit is off. They can tell if something bothering you. That's a discerning of spirits. Um, read the last part of First Corinthians 10, 12 and 10. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 10. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. This is that person can speak multiple languages and understand multiple languages. Verse, go to read on. Verse 11. But all these worketh that one in the self same spirit, 
dividing to every man severally as he will. So all these gifts, though they are different, they all are given to us for the same purpose, to build up the nation of Israel, to be self-sustained in the nation of Israel. We all got gifts to contribute to the body. We all got gifts and talents that we, could, that we are given that the Most High gave us to use them for others, not just for yourself. It's, it's the, everything that we have is used to build up the body, to build up the nation of Israel. Read. Verse 12. For as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. So just like, we, just like our physical body, our, we have a hand and we got feet. Our hand, we could pick up, we could pick up a pen and write on a notebook. We can't do the same thing with our feet. But they part of they are on the, the our hand and our foot is on the same body, and they both uh, help us get to where we need to go, help us accomplish the things that we need to accomplish. But they got two different functions. That's the mindset that we gotta have. The gifts that we have, the most I didn't give us our gifts so we can crawl up under a bush and hide them. We got to use our, our, our gifts, talents, and abilities to build up the nation of Israel. Jump to verse uh, 18. Verse 18. But now have God set the members, every one of them in the body, as it hath pleased him. He put us where we are as it has pleased him. That's with our gifts, talents, and abilities. And also, if you just came into the truth six months ago, the Most High decided, okay, this is the time for him to come in. For those of us that came in six, seven years ago, that was the time that the Most High designed for us to come in for a specific purpose. Because we all had, we, we all got something to add to the body at a specific time, and it's in the Most High time. And that's whether you a member, you a visitor, you a member, you a soldier, you an officer, and on, so on and up. He, the Most High put us where we are and where we need to be at the right time, so that what we have to to what we have to add to the body, we can add it. We can add that talent. We can add that gift to build up the nation of Israel. That's our whole goal and purpose. Jump to 22. Verse 22. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. It says those members of the body that seem to be more feeble, they're necessary. That's your, your brother that just came in a month ago, your visitors, your mem the, the members that just just made it to be a member. They're necessary. Yeah, they don't, they don't have no rank. They don't have no uh, certain set responsibilities to do certain things just yet, but they are necessary in the body. They are the more, it says they are more feeble. They lack experience in the truth, but they still have something to bring to, this, to, the, to the table. They got a lot, of, a lot of brothers, when they first come in, they got a fire, and that fire might be necessary for a soldier that lost the fire. He see that brother like, dang, that brother got, he, he on fire. He's studying. He at every MOV, he, he always active. You know what? Hey, man, you know what? You examine your, like, dang, you know what? He's standing me up. Let me step my game up. Every, every part of the body is, is necessary and needed. Um, read on. And then Verse 23. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, Upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. Because when brothers, when brothers first come in, brothers or sisters first come into the truth, their first year, they they need they need to be built up. They have to they have to learn the welcome home packet. They gotta learn the basics of keeping God's commandments. And they 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 it says they it says we the, those members of the body which we think to be less honorable. Because they just came in, they don't know nothing, they still got Christianity on their mind. They're more honorable because we, a, a lot of us that have been here, we've been through the, the trials and the setbacks of getting that spirit up off of us. So now it's our responsibility to put a focus on them to help build them up so they can be the same where we are. So they can have that experience. So they can learn to how to apply the commandments at the right time and in the right, in the right moment. So they can learn how to apply not... Um, trimming their ways to seek love so they can know how to not go around their family when, when the holidays, when the, when the holiday season come around, Thanksgiving come around. They know how to not go around their family 
But also, at the same time, they learn how to deal with their family, where they're not cutting their family off. Like, man, forget you. They, know, they, learn how, they, have to, they have to learn how to do those things. And it's our job, those of us that have been here before them, it's our job to provide them with that counsel and direction. Hey, no, nah, don't handle it like that. You got to do it like You got to talk to them like this. You got to be wise as a serpent and harmless as dove. Don't bend God's laws to please them, but you got to use wisdom how you talk to them because you're the only light they may see. More abundant honors. Read on. Verse 24. For our comely parts have no need, but God have tempered the so, body so it's, together. It says, it says our comely parts have no need. Meaning what? Those of us that those are, those that been around for three, four, five years, six years, you shouldn't you shouldn't need nobody micromanaging you. Be like, hey, you examine yourself today. Hey, you made sure you studied today. You you should already have that experience. You should already have that. Not you know what? I got to make sure I study. You know what? You should be able to judge yourself at that time. You should be able to tell. You know what? Dang, I ain't studied in three days. You know what? Let me make some time to make sure I study. Dang, you know what? My spirit is off. Let me fast. You should already, you, the comely parts, you should already be able to recognize when you're going off or when you, when you, when you falter and you're wavering. You're supposed to be able to catch yourself. But those that come freshly in, they may not be able to see it. They need their help. They need that extra push. Read. Verse 24. For our comely parts have no need, but God have tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. Giving more attention to those that are uh, newer, the little ones. Read. Verse 25, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. So this is all designed and set up so there's no schism in the body. There's no division allowed to rise, to, to come in, sit, and just... Um. Uh, what's the word? Ferment, just just rise. It's, you got you got somebody that come in that believes something totally different, but because no attention is paid, no no attention is paid to them. They allowed to sit and and sit and uh, infiltrate the body because ain't nobody said nothing to them. They going around pushing pushing doctrines, saying you got to say the name, saying you got to speak Hebrew. Oh, you can have multiple wives, but if 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 no attention is paid to them, the more comely parts that come in fresh, they're gonna be led astray. They're gonna be taken taken out by somebody with a with a hearsay. So all of, all in all, our resp- our main responsibility, especially especially those of us that are in the ranks, that been here, that been around, it's our responsibility to do to use our gifts that we've been molded and shaped in. And we got we gained experience in. It's our job to use those gifts and talents to edify those that's coming in after us. Go to uh, Matthew chapter eighteen and verse six. I had a few more scripts. I'm almost done. Matthew chapter eighteen and verse six. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he was drowned in the depth of the sea. If we neglect those that come in after us, we neglect the younger spirits that come in after us, it's, that's offending them. Because they they seen the truth. They seen that they were the Israelites. They came in, and then we just let them sit off on the wayside. Sit off on the wayside. It didn't provide no no channel, no way, no no means of communication, nothing. We just let them, hey, you can learn on your own. We provide, we didn't do nothing. It says it's better that a millstone will hung about your neck and you was cast in the death. It's better for you to have been put to death than that you will offend one of the little ones. That's what we all have to understand. Our gifts and the ta- our gifts was given to us not for us to hide them in the sand, but for us to use them, cultivate them, make them better, make them stronger, and produce more fruits. Because there's gonna be come people coming in after us that got similar gifts, but they don't know how to, they don't know how it applies to to the truth. They don't know how to apply it in the nation. It's our responsibility since we've exercised it already. Hey, this is how you this is how you do this, this is how you do that. You know what? Wait, wait a year, study, get your spirit built up, and then we can see where we can utilize your gifts. Put you put you to some work so you can put your brick in. From there go to James chapter three and verse one. So the, the most high put the body 
He put everybody in the body where they need to be at the right time, at the right place. James chapter 3 and verse 1. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. So it says, my brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. So the reason I, ran, the reason I pulled this is those, it says, be not many masters. Those that are the, that are the leaders, the, the ranked men, the soldiers and up, it says you shall receive the greater con condemnation. Why would it say that we shall receive the greater condemnation? Because we're responsible for the younger spirits that come in. It's our responsibility to make sure that the, the, the way is paved for them so they don't stumble, to build up their spirit so they don't stumble and fall back into the world. That's why I say because if you if you neglect that and you 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 in the you the you the leaders you the leadership and you neglect that it's a greater condemnation because now you uh, you you set a bad example and cause many others to fall behind you. The blind leading the blind that's what that is. From there go to Hebrews thirteen and seventeen. Hebrews chapter thirteen and verse seventeen. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves. So it says, obey them that have a rule over you and submit yourselves. If, a, if, if you got a, a soldier, an officer asking you to do something and, you're not, and it's not breaking the commandments, just do it. If you got an officer telling a soldier, you got a, a higher ranking officer telling a, a lower ranking officer, just do it. If he ain't telling you to break the commandments, just get it done. Submit yourselves. Read. Why? For they watch for your souls. Read. As they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. So if they are directing you and guiding you in the commandments, showing you thou shalt not commit adultery. Hey, get your spirit together. Get your spirit right. You just came in. Right, give yourself a year, maybe two years, maybe a little longer. Get your spirit right before you think about before you think about trying to prove a sister, before you think about trying to get married, it says, for they watch for your souls. That's counsel watching for your souls. Because you come in six months, you come in six months, and then you are already trying to, you are already lusting after a sister. You're trying to marry your sister. You finna destroy yourself because you're not stable, and you're nine times out of ten, you done attracted a sister that ain't stable, and now y'all gonna be unstable together. Or, or worst off, y'all gonna, Y'all gonna go, y'all gonna have a backdoor marriage. Y'all gonna commit adultery. Well, not, not adultery. You're you gonna commit fornication. It says, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself, for they watch for your soul as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. You shouldn't be that brother or sister that every time your name come up, ah, what's going on now? What done happened now? You always in something. You always causing trouble. That shouldn't be the case. With no brother, no sister, no, no soldier, no officer, that should not be the case. When your name come up, it should be, oh yeah, he got a good, he, he's sincere, he got a good, it should be good talk. It shouldn't be, oh, what this brother do now? What this sister did now? That shouldn't be the case. And for, the, for, for, the, for those that are in those positions of leadership, it's your responsibility. You, you watch, it says, for they watch for your souls. That means you're teaching the commandments. You're helping them build a solid foundation on keeping God's commandments. You're being an example. Go to first, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. This will be the last, last scripture. This is the, this is the responsibility of, of the leadership. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. We wouldn't, none of us would be here if we didn't believe that this, this, whole, this holy Bible that we read was given by the inspiration of the, of the of Most High. Read. And it's profitable for doctrine. It's profitable for doctrine. That doctrine is God's laws, according to Proverbs 4 and 2. Read. For reproof. For reproof. That means you're going to be, it's going to be some, hey, man, you didn't do that. You didn't do that right. You jacked up. It's going to be some criticism towards some of the things that you do. But why? It's, it's, it's according to the scriptures. If we see you doing something that's out the spirit, it's our job to tell you that you're out the spirit. It's our job to tell you that you're not doing something according to the spirit. 
We're supposed to let you know what you did wrong. That's our job. That's our responsibility as leaders. Read. For correction. For correction. Letting you know, okay, reproof, hey, you did, you, you jacked up. You didn't handle that situation right. You was, hit, you, was, you, was, you was out the spirit. You was disrespectful in how you handled that. The correction, but you know what? You did that. This is how you're supposed to handle it. This is, how you, this is how you should do it. This is how you should move. This is how you apply the commandments. This is how you have peace among your brothers. This is how you love your neighbor as yourself. You can't just, it ain't just, when you make a move, you can't do it just based on what you think is right. You got to think about how it's going to affect your brothers. That's correction. Guiding you, letting you know what you, what you should do to make, to what you should do to make the proper decision. Read. For instruction in righteousness. For instruction in righteousness. Your instruction in righteousness, how you should operate according to God's laws. It's giving you instruction before you make a fall, before you mess up. That's the, the whole guideline and purpose of the body. There's various components of the body. We all have a responsibility. We all have a, a gift of talent. We got to use it in its proper timing and in the proper way to help build up the nation of Israel. That's how the body's supposed to be rolling. That's how the body's supposed to move. That's a well or machine. If everybody is working and doing their part, it's a well or machine. Everything's going to run. Everything's going to Move, move like it's supposed to move. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.